Today's webcast is sponsored by Brady & Kosofsky, a North Carolina-based law firm offering real estate closing, title search, REO, and loss mitigation services. The Department of Treasury clarifies HAMP participation numbers released by a federal watchdog, and a Senate subcommittee discusses bankruptcy reform and ending too big to fail ahead on Thursday's News Wrap. The Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program reported in its Q1 2015 report to Congress that from the time Treasury began requiring servicers to report HAMP outcomes on December 1, 2009 through April 2015, 5.7 million homeowners applied for assistance through the program, according to Treasury's official HAMP database. About 4 million, or 70 percent of those who applied for assistance through HAMP were turned down by servicers, according to SIGTAR. Treasury responded to Sig Tarp's report by pointing out that HAMP has directly helped more than 1.5 million homeowners permanently modify their mortgages and indirectly assist millions more by setting new standards for mortgage industry that have led to more affordable and sustainable private modifications. Treasury also said that it had made more consistent improvements to HAMP, which have resulted in a steadily declining number of denied applications in the last three years. With many institutions still designated as systemically important or too big to fail even seven years after the financial crisis, a subcommittee of the Senate Banking Committee convened for a hearing on Wednesday to discuss ways to which bankruptcy reform could end too big to fail and get taxpayers off the hook for keeping large financial institutions alive. One strategy suggested was a single point of entry strategy in which a bridge financial company is created and all the assets of the bank holding company would be transformed to the bridge FHC. You can check out these stories on the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Friday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.